Welcome to Midweek Holden Evening Prayer During Lent with Lutheran Church of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now. Oh, no. 
our prayers come before you, O oh God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. Our midweek meditations in the middle of Holden Evening Prayer is meant to take a look at the book of the Acts of the Apostles uh, during this time of Lent. Today we're looking at Acts 2, it's uh, verse 1 through 47. I picked out a couple that um, I want to talk about just a little, little bit in conjunction with that. When the Feast of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Without warning, there was a sound like a strong wind, gale force. No one could tell where it came from. It filled the whole building. Then, like a wildfire, the Holy Spirit spread through their ranks, and they started speaking in a number of different languages as the Spirit prompted them. Then I skipped all the way down to the end of that chapter, uh, chapter 43, or less, verse 43. Everyone around was in awe. All those wonders and signs done through the apostles and all the believers lived in a wonderful harmony, holding everything in common. They sold whatever they owned and pooled their resources so that each person's need was met. They followed a daily discipline of worship in the temple, followed by meals at home, every meal a celebration, exuberant and joyful as they praised God. People in general liked what they saw. Every day their number grew as God added those who were saved. The book of Acts is ultimately about transformation, about restoration and living into something that we might call a counterculture movement. It shows the power of the Holy Spirit unleashed in the people and the followers of a resurrected Jesus. The word spirit in the original Greek, it's pneuma, and it has a variety of meanings. It's, it's used to refer to wind or to breath, and also to that which animates or gives life to the body. In the New Testament, it's used with the adjective holy to represent the divine breath or energy that sanctifies us, makes us holy, through God's people to bring about God's kingdom here on earth. So have you ever experienced the Spirit's power or encouraging in your life? Maybe it was something that to this day you can't explain and you're not really sure anyone would believe you if you told them. Well, our Lutheran church's namesake, Martin Luther, he explained the Holy Spirit's action in the third article of the Apostles' Creed. I know that's kind of churchy language, but he said, I believe that by my own understanding or strength, I cannot believe in Jesus Christ my Lord or come to him. But instead, the Holy Spirit has called me through the gospel, enlightened me with his gifts, made me holy, and kept me in the true faith. So on a personal level, the work of the Holy Spirit might be to help wake us up to the work of Jesus in our lives. The work of the Holy Spirit in the book of Acts is also really, really communal. Throughout Acts, the Spirit works through followers to overcome boundaries and barriers for the sake of restoring people to community. So what are some of the barriers or boundaries the world has created over the past 2,000 years in this church and in the world that need to be overcome? How might the Holy Spirit be working through you to help be a part of breaking down or at least taking a stone or a pebble out of the wall for the, stake, for the sake of restoring people, all God's people, to community. 
I want to encourage you to read chapter 2 of the book of Acts. And remember, there's going to be a group who will be gathering every Wednesday at 6.15 Mountain Time on Zoom to have more full wonderings and wanderings around this part of God's story, which is also our story. Along the way, think about what church becoming might mean in this year, 2022. Blessings and hope on your Lenten journey. Thank you. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus. Thank you. 
us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path. and ground of all goodness and life. Give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.